all right guys welcome back to another episode of i love fishing as you guys have known where we are at from our previous video it is definitely fall it is uh snowing here in the metro uh for the areas around here but right here in the southern bloomington metro area there's not much snow well, actually no snow here at all but yeah for the most metro area there's snow scattered here and there decided i'll come out and do a quick check of this very cool place let's see there's any fish here uh to make my way down there and i'll uh, see if we can get on some uh, little panfish and actually see how it looks like so stay tuned and uh see you guys in a second here nice little hike down this cool path in my first video you guys could see it pop up around here somewhere came during the spring found some fish not a lot lot but got on a couple of fish right after the ice out so or right as the ice out was happening so that was kind of cool and apparently here the water is always warmish or something like that so that's why it brings fish so we'll see if that holds true I'm bringing my cool Garmin striker cast. I'm going to see if I can do some sonar finding, but the thing is I forgot to charge it. I thought it, it would hold a battery. I haven't used it much this summer, so I thought, okay, it should be okay, but quickly dipped in the water a little bit ago and it was at one bar. So we'll see how much I can get out of it. At least get the water temp and how deep it is, I guess. Maybe show me where the fish are hanging around at what feet depth so hopefully that I can get that information to to just have an idea keep going oh look at that top water right there okay that's a pretty nice top water okay looks very promising okay made it to the pond I do see tons of fish bluegills and stuff Let's see if I can co-horse a crappie. No! Bluegill came and took it. Fatty bluegill. Yeah, tons of them here. No! No! <laughs> well, these guys are here. Green sunfish also. Yeah, they are feeling pretty warm still. So, similar to the springtime when we came. They're stacked with these guys. And they were, in those freezing, their bodies were warm. Indicating that the water is warm. I might need to change to a bigger a bigger jig head to sink this faster but yeah so if you guys want some uh panfish action definitely still the place to come so if you want some of this action yeah come here i wouldn't recommend anything no no, no chance at all. These guys. These are hungry. <laughs> Every cast has been a fish so far. I need to switch to a heavier one. Okay, so apparently this is five feet. Tons of fish stacked everywhere. It's 66 degrees, no wonder there's freaking fish here. So they are at the uh, five feet range. Stuff in the bottom. 
lose the flash mode, I need to change to traditional. Okay. Oh, this thing's only five feet deep. Five feet deep only. Five feet deep, tons of fish right here. Tons and tons of fish. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna cast this to the middle or the end over there and we'll measure how it looks like from over there. And over there, you guys will see on my screen. It's gonna say it's three feet. Just marking a bunch of those uh, panfish right underneath it. And we'll slowly reel coming across. And you should see it start to the bottom level down, right? Because it's coming more to the center, it's gonna go deeper, like what you see there. And here, it's showing this fish. A couple fish down there. Some fish hugging the bottom. Fish chilling in the bottom, right below the column. So it's marking lots of stuff. And it seems some dudes hugging that bottom. So I think that's what I wanted to get. Is those guys hugging that uh, bottom. It shows to be only five feet deep. I thought it was way deeper than that, but I guess not. This is only maximum depth five feet. But the water level did drop, so could have been at least eight feet or something. But okay, yeah, it's showing stuff. Big glob under that three feet just going down. Hmm. Big fish or a bunch of fish. We keep coming closer to the tunnel. And yeah, it bottoms out at five feet. And there's tons of fish around here. They're wondering what this thing is. But yeah, the water temperature here says it's uh, 60, 68 degrees. So. That explains why that, uh, yeah, it's a very nice, warm place for these guys. I did see a big catfish or some kind of big fish swim up earlier. So, we'll see if we can catch them. But yeah, here there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a carp. Okay. One big carp right there. I don't know if you can see in the video, but yeah, he's chilling. Okay, cool. Need anything else around here? No, just a bunch of these bluegills, sunfish. And they're all just stacked around here. Yep, still tons of fish. Let's see if there's anything in here. Okay, in a tunnel it goes a little bit deeper. Or is it the same? It's probably the same. It shows to be five and a half. Five and a half, close to six feet. Yep, so right here, five and a half. So right outside this tunnel is five and a half. You see a bunch of fish everywhere. And yeah, I'm just catching them left and right, so. All I was using is the small jig, tungsten jig with a uh, gulp minnow. I have the black shad gulp minnow today and they just won't leave it alone. I was hoping to see if I could get some crappies or something. I don't know where they'll be at, but like I said last time, I think in the video was this fish, they're just trying to uh, get the fish you want before these uh, bluegills eat it. Yep, so three feet, three feet. Three feet, four feet. It just keeps coming down. 
It's probably gonna bottom out at five feet. A nice little hump there, unless it's grass. Get closer here, and it's five feet. And it probably goes down to five and a half. Yep. So definitely lots of stuff here. Yeah, tons of fish right here. Let's go on this side. Anything over here that's different. Three feet. Three feet. Stuff hugging the bottom. Mid-water column. So yeah, all kinds of uh, cool stuff happening here, yep. A big glob there at the four feet. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess it's just big pockets of these sunfish chilling. Yep, there they are. Should see them come up under the sonar now. Yep, there it is. Tons of them. Is that a crappie? A little light, the uh, lightish one. Okay, so that'd be what I'll get for the scanning here, and I'll get back to fishing. All right, so I've got this cool trout magnet with the awesome goat minnow tied to a rocket bobber at five feet deep for the most part, and we'll see. Yeah, there it goes, okay. Then we'll see if we can go to the bottom and get me some of those fish hugging the bottom. Again, this place is more of a just come and have fun. Uh, as you guys saw, the water temps are around 66, 68, 69 degrees. So that's actually really, really good. Um, at the other lakes that I was at, it was around, I think, 44 or 50 degrees or something. So a big difference, 15 degree difference in the water. So, no, oh, no, don't take it. We'll see if those uh, other fish will come get it. But yeah, so a big difference in the water temps. And like I said, that's part of why all these guys are here. Because it's a very nice water temp for them. So if you want to take your kids to come have some fun in this cold before ice season, good place to come. Uh, lots of panfish action. Like I said, a small jig head with gulp minnow will do the trick. And I think that's it. That's all you need if you want to get some fishing action here. I might be hitting the bottom. I think that I might be hitting the bottom. Someone took it. <laughs> no, no, don't take it. Don't take it. Go pass down. Let the other guys get it. <laughs> Little green sunfish. So even these little guys can still get hooked with this bigger than usual trout magnet. So yeah. Like I said, you want some action, open water prior to uh, ice freezing. Come here, park at that cool parking lot and make your way down here and uh, get in some fish. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Let's go, we got a big in. Hella big and yeah, big fish, big fish. You see that? All that schools of fish just waiting. They want whatever this guy got too. So yeah, there you guys go. Yeah, just Gold minnows.
I'm gonna go try the other pond. See what the water temper's over there. Sonar is moving over here. Looks like the water comes out from over here, pushing stuff that way. What's the temperature? Oh, okay, so this side is not warm. This side is not warm water because it says it's 48 degrees over here. Yeah, this side is 49 degrees. So it's a 20, 26, 30 degree difference. So that's good to know. Oh, look at all those bait fish. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's a lot of them. That's what these guys are probably searching for. So much. Oh yeah, look at all that. There's so many of them. Like billions and millions of them just all right in front of me. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's crazy. Is that what the sonar reads? Yeah, look at that. They're all just here. Oh my goodness, what is it? Yeah, look at that. That is very cool. 10 feet here. Okay, here it says it's nine feet, nine feet deep. Nothing at the end of the tunnel. Couple of stuff hanging right underneath it. No, nothing. So at the end of the tunnel, Okay, so it's 10 feet at this tunnel. Other side of six feet. Six feet. Eight, seven and a half feet. Let's become closer to the tunnel, eight feet. Okay. So this end of the tunnel is deeper, way deeper than the other side. Way deeper. The other side, I believe, was six feet. So it marked some stuff down the bottom. Lots of things hanging in the middle. Two feet, two, three feet, four feet, which I can see. Let me throw this guy right out there again. Made it a little bit deeper. Let's come right in front of this thing here. I think it's six feet deep here. So yeah, a bunch of stuff showing up. But yeah, so right at this tunnel is nine feet, 9.8 and 64 degrees. So that's yeah, very cool. Got these guys pulling the towel. Bunch of these bluegill sunnies everywhere. So, okay, cool. That will be a good indicator for you guys here. These guys are hard beating this guy up. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna do a last fish here on the trout magnet. Trump magnet with the gulp minnow. It's just gonna be an instant fish right here. Just gonna, they're gonna take it right away. They just can't keep these guys off. <laughs> these guys are just steal it, take it away. There's one. Oh, let go right in time. Okay. Let 
I'm just gonna be like one after another. Hey, there you go. Just there's ice fishing. <laughs> Took it right when uh, we don't have to go that deep. Uh, go lower. Looks like this. And they're just gonna destroy it. Just pop. Yeah. Pop. There it was already. Green sunfish. Yep. So yeah. Again. Hogback. Hogback Ridge Pond. Bass Ponds. Right outside. Uh, right along the Long Lake. Long Meadow Lake. Park area. Right outside the airport, right outside Mall of America. So, cool place. You want to come do some fishing? Come do it. Just taking it fish after fish. Oh, you took it. I got a big fish. Oh, okay, good. He let go. <laughs> I wonder if they're eating with that grass on there. A bigger green sunfish. Oh, I already came and took it. Hoi! Okay. Hoi! Okay. All right. That concludes the video, guys. Until the next one, stay safe. See you guys.